Okay, along with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal, my next guest is one of a new generation of action-adventure heroes. Uh, he's the star of a new film, Rapid Fire, which opens August 21st. Please welcome Brandon Lee. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you were gonna play everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> now a lot of people might not know that uh, Bruce Lee was your dad. My whole life long, yeah. The whole life long, yeah. That was that would make sense. So how old were you when you started doing martial arts? Did you start? My dad you? started me as soon as I could walk. Um, you know, we have home movies and stuff. I'm about one and a half. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh, I was kind of just a part of the household when I was growing up. Now I remember reading at the time your dad. Did a whole, in fact, I, I took it for about a year, and I was so terrible. But your dad sort of inspired me, and I think a whole bunch of people he's taken down, and there was a Bruce Lee studio down on the Wil Wilshire Boulevard. But it was a different type of karate, wasn't it? It, it wasn't, uh... uh... I think my dad would probably not like to hear it referred to as karate. Well, okay. Um, he I don't, actually... I don't want anybody mad in the family. <laughs> <laughs> martial arts, martial arts. We got the whole family here tonight, so yeah. you got to be careful. <laughs> um... My dad originated an art while he was alive that was called Jeet Kune Do. Um, this was my father's personal expression of the martial arts. He had a circle of students that he taught while he was alive, and through that circle of students, one of whom has gone on to continue to be my teacher, actually, um, the art of Jeet Kune Do has continued to exist in the world. Oh, I see. Now, but I know at the time, this was something that was, uh, I know a lot of uh, Asian, I guess would be, right, mm -hmm. would not, uh, it was confined to the Asian community, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't yeah, something when, that was taught. Your dad was really the first guy to sort of teach Caucasians dad actually, and other races how to do this, wasn't he? Yeah, and he ran into a great deal of flack about that, actually, in the uh, community where he came over and first was teaching to Caucasians. He ran into some flack from other uh, Asian martial arts factions in that community because up until that time, the individual arts were very much separate. There was no transfer of information between the arts whatsoever. And that was part of what I think my father was interested in trying to see broken down. And there was certainly no transfer between the Asians and the Caucasian races. Yeah. And it was almost considered kind of like an Asian secret weapon or something. Yeah. You know, not to make too big a deal of it, but that certainly did exist at the time, and my dad helped break that barrier down. Is it different among Asian communities? I mean, is, is Korean martial arts that much different from Japanese? A lot of different from... martial arts, yeah, they grow out of a, a culture. Sometimes there'll be something that is passed down through a family from generation to generation. Sometimes it's something that's grown up out of a religious sect, uh, a certain province of a certain town, you know? Yeah, yeah, because I know when I would watch your dad, I mean, there were so many of those bad martial arts movies. You know, the they boom and the, you know the noise and and they were comical. But your dad really had that star. I always thought they should do one of those where the guy goes reaches for a coffee cup and it's like whoosh, whoosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they go like this. Hello, 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 and then give me a cup of coffee. Yeah, like five know. minutes later, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he was. And it's always the same guy that does the voice. Mm -hmm. It sounds like someone is in trouble. I must go there. You exactly. That yeah. so, have you ever had to use your, your martial arts to defend yourself for real? Has this ever been a... Because um, being Bruce Lee's kid, this must have been rough growing up. I mean, just everybody must have wanted to pick a fight with him. Sometimes, unfortunately, that yeah. happened. You know. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like David Carradine now. <laughs> Why do you pick on me? And then you oh. didn't just chop the guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wish I had had that much composure about the whole <laughs> yeah. thing at the time, you know? But, uh... I mean, you ever had a street fight or someone or that kind of thing where that's happened? I, about... I guess it's been a little over a year ago. A guy, actually, I came home and, uh caught a gentleman in the midst of robbing me. And he's a gentleman, not just a <laughs> A gentleman. I had kind of a feeling for him. Um, but I, I came home, yeah. I pulled up on my bike, the window was wide open, there was stuff all over the floor, and so I knew, I thought I had been robbed. You know, right. as I jumped in through the window, and the guy was standing in the bedroom with the VCR in his hands. And I saw him, and he saw me, and this house was such that all the rooms were connected, you yeah. know? So he starts running, I start running, we chase like a Three Stooges routine, go around and around the house, you know, two or three times. You could never, I would love to try and capture on film sometime the immensely silly and stupid things that happen in real life situations like this, you know? Yeah. So anyway, he ended up taking a knife from the kitchen on his last circuit through, and we squared off in the living room. And 
I got this little scar on my thumb there out of it, actually. The knife? You probably yeah. can't see, but uh, I ended up taking the knife away from him, and the police came and took him away. And after he got out of the hospital, he got two years for breaking and entering and oh, attempted wow. robbery. Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the thing and about it... And a fine it, gentleman he was. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it that kind of got me was, I have these pictures, these large, I mean, they're this big, these blown-up pictures of myself and my father, you know, when I was a child, but my father is very much recognizable as my oh, father sure. to the majority of the world, you know, and I, I was always wondering, they're right on the walls, I was always wondering if this guy was in the midst of robbing me, and he was kind of like, let's see, uh, nah, it couldn't be, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, if I broke into a house and I saw Elvis posters, I wouldn't go, oh, Elvis lives here, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, being famous also helps you. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a clip here from your film. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, it's, I'm playing a character who witnesses a murder. Uh, the guy who commits the murder is the head of the Chicago Mafia. They're obviously not too pleased. At, this gentleman is obviously not too Ooh, pleased about having gentleman. me testify. Yeah. So uh, they try and get rid of me before I can testify, and these are their efforts to do just that. Let's take a look here. There's our monitor. This is great. This is from the film, uh, which opens, uh, was it this weekend? This Friday. Yeah, this Friday. Rapid fire. Let's take a look. Brendan Lee. You know what I'm going to do? <coughs> I'm going to break your hands, finger by finger. And then I'm going to break your ribs, rib by rib. And then I'm going to break your legs. Knock yourself out. We got cops out here. movies where a guy like you kills 10 guys and then the 11th guy goes eh, let me get in there and try <laughs> Why would you, do that? Yeah. you just killed nine guys no, absolutely. let me give it a shot myself the, oh, and then it gets the, the classic case of that <laughs> it's in enter the dragon my dad's yeah. movie when he, he performs the the nunchuck sequence that oh, he's very oh, yeah, justifiably like famous yeah, yeah. for and there's this one character who sits and watches him do all of this <laughs> and then attacks him <laughs> this guy you know bad well, terrific your dad would be very proud i'm sure the movie is rapid fire and it opens this Friday. Brennan, nice to meet you.